All right, hello. The big game is right around the corner. Shout out uh, Taylor Swift. I guess she's involved somehow. Limited edition smart food. We got the chocolate glazed donut smart food right there. And we're going to put it up against a little versus, a little uh, big game um, competition versus the Cheetos Crunchy Buffalo. So these are two new flavors just in time for the big game. Just in time. I went to high school with a kid named Justin Case. Let that resonate in your head, just in case. All right, so here we go. We're going to check these out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so... The crunchy buffalo, and then I guess we're saving this one for last. That is going to be dessert. So let's go. Crunchy Cheetos buffalo. Look at that. Chester Cheater. Cheater? <laughs> Chester Cheater. He's got a flat. What is that? A Bunsen burner? What's he got going on? He's got a flask, and he's just throwing the buffalo onto the crunchy Cheetos. I knew the sun. I knew it. I came prepared. The sun coming in and out of clouds. All right. Oh, let's go. All right. Let's get a look in there as the sun. Look at this. The sun knew when we needed a little photo shoot. I don't know if that's helping or not. Usually the overcast days, you can definitely um, get some better lighting. It's going to go behind the clouds in a minute, though. But there you go. All right. Crunchy Buffalo. Yeah, but it still has the cheese, so I like it. That's not a... Why is I looking at that like it's a Bunsen burner or a flask? It's literally... I guess because his hand is kind of shaped that way. I don't even know. But that's just uh, buffalo hot sauce. Now we could get in the bag with some um, limited sun. Oh, all right. The sun still wants to come out. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. First one up, crunchy buffalo Cheetos. Let's go. That's a good Cheeto. Yeah. Huh. Cheesy. And then some nice buffalo. And the way it mixes together, let me give you a look at a skinny one right there. Look at that. I like these. Keep building a little bit. Yeah. Pretty darn good. And like I said, it's still cheesy, but has buffalo. So it's buffalo cheesy. I guess Cheetos crunchy buffalo. Yeah. I'm going to get in the bag one more time with some limited sun. There you go. All right. All right, Chester Cheetah, not bad. Let me clean off the palate, and then we are going to try the Smart Food Chocolate Glazed Donut. Here we go. All right, so we cleansed the palate with a little water, and now we're opening these bad boys up. Glazed, what is it? Chocolate Glazed Donut. There we go. Get a look inside the bag. 2024. You are inside a bag of smart food. Have you seen this in the stores yet? I looked quickly and I don't know. I don't think I saw. Oh, Ooh, I don't think I. That reminds me of a scratch and sniff sticker back in the day. Anyone out there remember scratch and stiff uh, stiff? <laughs> That's a whole different sticker. The scratch and stiff. Yikes. <laughs> the scratch and sniff. That actually smelled like one of the scratch and sniff uh, stickers. That sun is permeating. Look at this. All right. Got a little layering, got a little coating, and uh, wish me luck. Here we go. The battle, the big game battle, chip battle, just in time for the 
big game. And I'm pretty sure if I said the name of the game, I would not get a copyright strike or whatever the deal is. Whoever out there, the NFL, has dibs on the copyright of saying the name of the championship game. I'll just play it safe. The big game. I hate saying it. it sounds ridiculous. Oh. It loses the um, texture of normal smart food a little bit because it has that glaze, that outer glaze on it. So they're like eating little uh, puffs, not uh, popcorn. They're just kind of uh, puffs. Decent flavor of chocolate. Am I getting glaze? I guess there is glaze on the uh, outside of the uh, kernel right there. Yeah, a dessert popcorn. If that even exists. Got to be in the mood for this. Working good as a dessert from those. Yeah. Chocolate. Subdued chocolate. And a layer of like a glaze. So I get it. I mean, there's no donut flavor. I'm not tasting like a yeast donut. But it's uh, a decent little dessert popcorn. And you got to be in the mood. I don't know if it was fair putting these two chips up against each other, but these were the two new chips that I uh, found. I found both of them like a week ago. they just been uh, sitting in the pantry. Um, I like both of them. Ratings. Who's going to win? I think 86. 81. I think the buffalo um, is going to come out on top. It is a really good flavor of buffalo mixing in with the cheese. And that's a dessert popcorn, if that's something that um, you're into. This is probably not something you're going to reach for um, watching the big game, maybe watching the commercials. But um, there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, there you go. I'm pretty sure you're seeing this on February 1st, starting off the month with a little battle of the chips. Um, light up the comments if you've tried either one of these, and uh, we'll go from there. I've got popcorn uh, stuck inside my esophagus. But, um, <clears throat> all right, let me get a drink. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.